But here's a little tour of my uh, Omni CNC uh, at the moment. I'll just show you how it is. Gosh, it's um, years old, this thing now. Uh, and it's done more than its fair share of work. And uh, a few little replacements, but I'll just walk you through all those. This is it, still working, uh, just like the day that I got it. Absolutely fine, just a bit dusty. So here's a sort of real world look at it all. Um, spindle, yeah, I uh, was running water through it and I know I don't run any water through it to cool it at all. Um, it only gets a little bit hot on the hottest days of the year. Um, so with my work, which is very soft uh, limestone, and I just take my time with it. I'd never wa bother with any water anymore, which doesn't bother with the waste. Um, so as you can see here, uh, the water got in through um, the uh, washers underneath the perished. It's very old now. Uh, what I should have done has been replacing those washers under there, and then the water can circulate all the way through, cooling the spindle. But it didn't, it arced across, uh, but we replaced the uh, uh, socket with a new socket and dried it out. And lo and behold, it was fine, but I've got a replacement spindle now from the company and that arrives in, uh, after my dithering, in about, what was it, about four days or something? Absolutely fine. So, you know, here it is. Uh, this is sort of how it goes. Uh, that, that was the replacement thermometer of a thermometer that I already broke, uh, and I need to replace that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, so, I don't know what you guys do with the machine now, but as you can see up there, there's a green sensor, uh, and they do fail every now and then. Uh, so what was important is replacing that. Uh, but, you know, dear manufacturers, could I have access to um, put my screwdriver through here in order to take the screw out of here so I can do a really quick uh, changeover? That's just something there. Um, my panels on the side, put them in a few years ago. So when I do want to run it wet or all the dust kicks up, um, nothing... Uh, gets uh, covered in shit on the sides and you know the rails are under there let's have a look there you go you can have a look under there I am really bad I never oil it I never do anything but it is absolutely fine and I replace the, that sensor as well because that's another one that, that goes and um you know, that's looking fine. Look, I mean, look, the ball screw on there. No problem. Just a bit of um, lithium grease every now and then. So this is a, an idiot's guide to running the CNC machine. Um, you know, just a bit of dust. Hoover that out every now and then. Uh, what else? I mean, I had this thing on there to start with, but I broke that myself almost straight away. So, just not worried. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh yeah, what we are doing is the rollers. Love the rollers on the front, but I've um, they don't roll anymore. So I'm going to um, replace these this year. That's that's changing. Uh, obviously put those in so that there's a bit of a guard across the front uh, but lovely machine um, and you know it's a bit of a this is sort of you know someone who hasn't done anything to it and it's like a bit like a tank I can't fault it brilliant machine worth every penny and you know these are i made these on the machine out of hard plastic i suggest oh yeah this bit as well i forgot about that so these are hard plastic um allen key goes in there and a little 
T-slot piece in there. They sort of locate in there. I, I put them in there, turn them up, screw them in. But my a lot of my pieces are, are big, so they don't move around that much. And I would put in a... Sorry about that, that's the, that's the dog attacking. He's um, having fun. Anyway, I put a piece there and there to, and then and then just trim that with the CNC uh, because then there's a, a locating piece, a zero zero, and I think it's at thirty eight eighty off the original point. You can see where I've missed it one time and smacked the side, but you know, just don't do that. <laughs> So there you go, CNC machine, I think I've had it for about six years, it's done loads of work, it's made me some money, and it will continue to do so, because I will just invest in a few parts this year to have on the shelf, but in all honesty, um, you know, the parts come so quick from China, so um, yeah, perfect, perfect machine great company uh, I ordered it um, through them custom made so he's got a 500 millimeter drop on him a bit higher than most three axis CNC's uh, came with um, uh, the rotary device as well but I don't use that very often and it's old-fashioned I think you can get one with a rotary device on the side which I would again because it was quite good for ball turning and carvings and things, but um, I don't use it enough. But my one dropped onto the bed as a different x-axis. Um, so, you know, just too busy. That is chilling in the corner, like just, just there. Uh, I'm sure it still works. I would have it a slightly different setup, but that's something completely different. Um, yeah, works fine. And... Um, yeah, I'd look to um, buy about four more of them if I had the space. Uh, I think that is pretty much everything. Oh yeah, there's the box with the old computer in it running the NC software. Um, and it's a lot of fun. With fireplaces, stone balls, anything really. And yeah, just goes into the back of your 